are you looking excited, Richard? Oh my God. A movie just happened here today. Did you see one guy that just drove out now? Yes, it was in such a hurry. Yeah, that's his picture. My this dear, is the guy that just drove out? I swear to God. The guy had just come to change our entire family story. Um, Uche, you're speaking in parables. I don't understand. Listen, what just happened to here today is not something to be told while standing. Now I believe in Father's goodness. I swear to God. He's calling me. I'm Excuse me. Hello? That's so deadly. Hello? You might think Hello. you've made it through. Never offend the innocent. Does not pay, but has a way to bounce back. Then I think twice before you do. Cause God is our way of everything. Sorry. Yeah, um, my name is Obina. You, Chema. Oh, Chema, sweet name. Oh, I can see you at the uh, it courses. I just finished actually. Oh, for real? Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Uh, if you don't mind. Can you join me for lunch? Um, no. I, I just got back and I can't wait to see my brother and my dad. Yeah, but you're still going to see them after the lunch. I just can't wait. It's been a while I've seen them, so I'm going to see them. Oh. I like uh, Congo music. No, I'm, 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 I'm just going to go.
called him in his card and said, if I changed my mind, I should call him. I lost his card. That was him. He was him. All right, you know what? I have some personalities in my office I need to attend to right now, okay? What you do, you follow me to my office, you sit down. When I'm done with them, we can talk it out, okay? No way! So we are discussing this right now and right here! Honey, we had a perfect relationship in the UK, didn't we? No, we were just friends. We're not just friends, we were lovers. That happened long time ago, even before I left the UK. Okay? Obina, when you were hungry in UK, I gave you food. When you were homeless, I gave you home. When you were lonely, I gave you company. And now this? Come on, you're ridiculous. Okay? I was never hungry nor homeless. Yes! You chose to assist me, which I actually appreciated. But listen to me, don't forget. I came to UK with scholarship left my fiance because of you because you chose to do that i had no commitment with you why are you such an ungrateful wretch listen i am not an ungrateful wretch oh yes wretch. you are Only what is your problem come on now, now okay fine now listen to me like i told you before i have some personalities in my office i need to attend to them right now because it's very very important when i'm done with them at least we can continue from where we stop okay listen honey i flew into the country to come and see you now you're telling me i'm not important you're telling me this to my face i never said so oh you did yeah, please stop stop putting words in my mouth i never said you're not important i only told you i have some personality in the office that i need to attend to right now okay so let me finish and when I'm, when I'm done, you... I, it, it, it's okay. I understand. Let me remind you, darling, that hell knows no fury than a woman's scorned. You can go ahead and see your important people. But whatever you see later, you're ready to take it. Oh, is that a threat? Oh no. I can't possibly threat you. Read my lips, excuse me. Anna. Oh please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the latest incident. It was a... Uh, the woman was just jealous. She was a desperate woman that wanted to gun me down. Huh? You know about all this Oibo, how they do? She wasn't my wife. There was no children at all. Right? She even came up and said that it was a prank. I apologized to Choma and she accepted my apologies. Huh? Please, I'm so sorry for everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you here to go to her? Huh? How will I marry someone that is old? Someone that is uh, sorry, saving up to uh, uh, for something years, close to 50 years. No, there is nothing like that. Please, I'm sorry. Find a place in your heart and forgive and let's move on. Oh yes, the project I told you about, we discussed about, I will help you. Yes, just find a way and uh, resubmit the proposal to, to my email. I'll fix it up for you. Oh yes, I'll finance it. I'll begin. Huh? How would you do to Ahana and Kupon? Let's forget about all these things. It's just that you know you're going to try to buy it. I'm not going to walk away with wisdom. Okay, my God. And forgive me, okay? Let's uh, move on. I will marry your daughter. And I will give you guys the best. 
I have what it takes. I'm a good man. Huh? Huh? Ago. If you are a man, I should understand. Ago. Ago. If you are a man, I did watch you. It's okay. I'm watching you. It's okay. Huh? Yeah. Um, Papa, let me go and change your mind. Yes. I am taking my time to explain all this because DNA tests have led to several tragedies in many families. We have seen people commit suicide due to the shock of discovering that the child they thought was theirs actually belonged to someone else. Some men have had to kill their wives and even the children have also discovered. But our professional position is that such actions are absolutely unnecessary. In fact, they are reprehensible. Sometimes a woman may be pregnant by another man before the wedding will have been made. Besides, there are so many reasons why a woman might fall for such temptation. But that should not be the end of life. Nor should it be a reason for anyone to do outrageous things. You see, no one has a right to take the life of a spouse, especially on account of infidelity. No, because only God has life. Life belongs to God and God. Baby, I'm sorry for the other day, for the white threatening you. I'm sorry, I was, I was just upset. Okay? Okay, okay, fine. Mm, I know these girls who are betraying themselves, you guys, once you come back from abroad, especially when you got some pounds and dollars. Sweetheart, and some is straight. Are you engaged to any girls on here? No, not at all. That means I came in at the right time. Sweetheart, I've got all you need in a woman. Beauty, brain, and of course money. I have a budding career and my social standing is high up there. That's exactly what you need to get to the zenith of your career and your business. Okay? We'll get married and raise a first-class family. We can aspire to any level of life. As a matter of fact, we can aspire to the presidency of this country and it will be a done deal. Yes, okay? With me beside you. Just like Barack Obama and Mitchell. Isn't that beautiful, darling? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, oh, that would be nice. That would be more than nice. It would be a bomb. Oh. <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you. I love you. I love you so much, okay? Ah, <laughs> how are you? Oh, man, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Nice to see you. 
How are you? Um, meet uh, Jerry, my sister's fiance. I already know that. Oh, of course. Well, uh, well this is uh, Obina, my father's uh, long lost son. We just got uh, reunited after uh, uh, 20 uh, uh, years. Oh, I see. Like a. Uh, no, not really, but um, it's a long story. Uh, gentlemen, and lady, of course. It's an interesting one. Eh? Let us go over there and get ourselves well introduced. Eh? It's a long story, but very interesting. All right. No Shall problems. we? <laughs> so, what's going on? Nice to see you. <laughs> so, whatever the result of this DNA test, I would advise for restaurant and maturity. No one goes to the grave with his children, his own children, I can have his neck. After all, some people have adopted and raised other people's children and lived happily with them. So what will I give for oh. you? Uh, nothing. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Are you not uh, Jerry Maxwell? Oh, uh, yes. Do I know you? Oh, yeah, I ran into your cousin some time ago and she gave me an update about you. Well, she told me you're not happily married. Two kids. Uh, uh, what? Yes. She even showed me your family photograph. Eh? Well, congratulations. Yes, uh, excuse me, excuse me, please. Excuse me. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, my cousin Jane said that. Yes. Oh, she even told me uh, you're trying to get married to a Nigerian woman that will take care of your mother. Who are you, please? Come on, don't tell me you don't recognize me. Obina, your cousin. The same Obina you grew up with. Obina, my cousin? Yes. Oh, really? That's uh, Where have you been and what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, I discovered my long-lost father after so many years. He sponsored my education throughout secondary school before I got a scholarship to go study abroad. Fortunately, we got reunited yesterday. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. I've been, I'm, um, oh, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry for all that we did to you, right? My mother and I, you know, we were kids then, so I'm sorry. My mother was the one that instigated and instructed me to do all I did to you. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, come on, it's all right, it's all right. Huh? It's of the past now, long time. So, uh, how is your mother now? She's fine, Obina, she's fine. She's down with stroke, but she'll be fine. In no distant time, uh, she's speaking of, in no distant time, she'll be fine, right? Sorry about that. All right. Uh, so, Papa, how's it been? Jerry. Yeah. You and I need to talk to Okay, okay. What the? Jen, Jen, light, right? I, I'm coming. <laughs> hmm. I hope there's no problem. Uchi. Hey. At what point were you going to tell me? I knew there was something off about you. Uh, I knew and I asked God to expose you and he just exposed you. Not really, babe. I I was desperate because I love you. No, you, and I love, love you. no, no, you don't. You were desperate because you wanted to put me into slavery by getting me pregnant and making me take care of your mother. Hey, okay, babe, it's not like that, okay? Then how is it? You want to concoct another lie? How is it? Come on, what's the big deal? Hey, yes, what's the big deal, Dad? Do you want to join me to Australia? Huh? Will you stand my Australian wife? Oh, you have the F on to scream? You? Who lied? You are angry? Okay. Whatever I call Listen. All you have to do now is get into your car and leave here before my brother descends on you. Mercilessly at that. Well, this again. I have to get your story.
I have here with me the results of uh, four of your children. This is for Ada Madoka. It is positive. She is your child. This one is for Shijioke. Shijioke Madoka. Uh, positive. Your child. Where we have problems. With these two results, Emeka and Joshua. One is positive, one is negative. Father, I have another surprise. Obina, what surprise again now? Haven't I had enough surprises for just one day? Well, I have been to this house before. Yes, I came to this house twice. You? Yes. When? For what? Yes, uh, earlier this year, I gave a lady in the youth corps uniform a ride on my way back from Ibadan. Yes, I still remember. I dropped her at the gates. I did everything possible to get her number, but she refused. And I gave her my card for her to call me. She was so behaved that I had to come back. After waiting for a long time, she didn't call me. I came back to this same house, got to the gate, knocked, nobody answered. So I left. Obina. Are you sure is this house you're talking about? Oh, uh, yes. I'm very sure. Very, very sure. Yes, he's sure that. Because I was the one he dropped off. This is negative. This child doesn't share the same DNA with you. Therefore, it couldn't be your son. Doctor, which of my children are you talking about? Emigrant's result is positive. He is your child. But your first son, Joshua, his is negative. He is not your son. Sorry. What? What have you seen? Young man, I'm not done yet. Sit down. Sit. Step back. 
Il va essayer de te faire. C'est bien. I'm so sorry I missed your card. I mean, you had already told me that if things changed, I should call. But I had lost your card, so... Sorry. Has it changed now? I'd rather say... Yes, I, I mean, you saved me from a fraud. A fraud star. Uh, what? Let's see. God saved you for me. Hello? What is going on here? I don't understand anything anymore. Me too. What is going on? Oh, uh, Father. I am in love with Joma. That is what is going on here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, my love. Since the last time I dropped you at that gate, I bought a gift and I kept it inside my car permanently for a moment like this. Give me a few minutes, I'll be back. Oh, he told me that day he liked me. I, I don't Jericho. know. What I do not understand is that this child's DNA does not match with your wife's DNA. Therefore, she is not his mother. Excuse me, doctor. Is there something I need to know? You, you idiot! You cost of this. Shut up and sit down. We are not done yet. Sit down. Shoma, what is happening? Am I dreaming or what? That was the gentleman I told you dropped me off at the gate the day I got back from service. So, he told me he liked me and then he gave me his card. But I misplaced the card. I also didn't think it was right for me to contact him because I was with that farm at that time. Little did I know. My elder brother and I grew up together. We loved each other so much that everybody thought we were twins. But when it was time to marry, my brother made a mistake. He married the wrong woman. And uh, that wrong woman actually led to his untimely death. But before my brother died, the wife already had a baby. And at the time my brother died, the wife abandoned the two months old baby and went away with another man and remarried. But even before my brother married her, she already had a baby out of wedlock. I understand that baby has mental issues. But that is by the way. Because of the love my brother and I shared, I decided to adopt that his child as my own child, as my first son. In his honor. That was the situation before I got married to my wife. I explained things to her and she graciously accepted my position. We both agreed to adopt Joshua here as our first child. 
Nobody else was aware of this decision. Everything was moving fine until he came up with his troubles. Joshua, my wife and I have given you the best any parent could do. The best any parent could do. But you messed it all up. But I want to assure you that I will continue to love you and I will continue to take care of you for the sake of my brother. But as for being my first son, no. You have lost that position permanently. You lost that position to your foolishness, to your wickedness, to your treachery. You lost it all by yourself. That is the position, Doctor. My children, that is the position. My sweetheart here, she has endured so much. Sweetheart, I am very sorry. I am sorry for all the inconvenience and the heartbreak you suffered for the sake of this incorrigible child. I thank you for your loyalty. You never, you never treated him differently. Never at any point. It is rare. I love you. My children, I am sorry for imposing this wicked child on you as your senior brother. It was a decision I took in good faith, but I messed it up. I thank you so much, Doctor, for your professionalism. Thank you. You saved my family from an impending disaster. Thank you very much. And God bless you. When I think it's over, when I think I've lost all, that is when God says, Come down. Yep, uh, have it. So, what is this? A house? Yes. A five bedroom duplex. With a swimming pool at the back. For who? For our dad, of course. What? Me? No. Hey. How? You bought a house for my dad. Yes. Oh, I, I, I must be dreaming. I need to wake up. My house. Yes. Oh, I wish my wife is around to, to help me share in this joy. House. I can't Sorry. believe this. Hey, hey. No. You mean you bought a house for my daddy? Yes. And he deserves more than that. I'll do more, sir. Hey. My God. Daddy, do you know now it's clear to me that a good name is better than any amount of money or words you can acquire. Finally, he agrees. Dad, God, do you know people can go to any mall to acquire money? And, God, I can't, Dad, God, you are my hero. You can say that again. Thank you. <laughs> My son. Sir. Thank you so very much. Oh, 
Thank you. You do deserve hey. it. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, we are now going to live in a duplex with swimming pool. Ah. Look at mm. it. Look at it. Five bedroom. This is my room. Choma, look at it. This one will be my room. Choma, you stay downstairs. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> you are selfish. Very. When I think it's over, <laughs> when I think I've lost all, then it's when God says, My instinct told me that the reason you are you have played those drama that you did there is because you want to marry her, right? My instinct does not lie to me, but I want to tell you something. Oh yes, I want to I want to clear you on something you don't know. You are making one of the biggest mistakes of your life. You get married to her because she comes from a lineage of mad people. Did she tell you that there is madness in their lineage? I know, I know she did not tell you. Did she tell you about her family? The very man that wanted to marry her? And they show up that very day, right? Let me tell you something. I showed this to her family. This is the reason he didn't come that very day. Oh yes, I deny you don't know him. Eh? Come you on. want to deny you don't know Clifford? Come on, come on. The mad yeah. man. Oh. Are you crazy? My family mad? Hey, 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 hey. But that! No, 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 leave it, leave it. Leave it. Look at this! Leave it, just leave it. Young man, let me tell you something. I never really liked you because you never meant well. I only tolerated you because of my daughter. I didn't like you too. You just shut up, idiot. Shut up. Look for your information. That madman, Clifford, is not our blood. Yes. His mother gave birth to him before marrying my co-in-law's brother. So we know exactly what Clifford's problem is. Even if he were to be our blood, there's nothing wrong in one getting sick. Just know this, that there is no madness in my family. My ancestors, no history of madness in them. Idiot!
Jeff, can I ask you a question? Um, you can go ahead, but you have to thank me first. You have to thank me for saving you from getting into the lineage of mad people. You just said now that they have madness in their lineage. So why do you still want to marry her? Um, well, I wanted to, to help her. I wanted her to stay with my sick mother while I enjoy with my real wife abroad. So, what? So, Jerry, you are still the same. So you've not changed. Huh? You were like this growing up. And you're still the same. I thought by now you must have changed. Jerry, why do you derive joy seeing people cry? Why do you derive joy seeing people shedding tears? Don't tell me. What are you going to benefit from all these stupid things you've done? You keep telling people you live in America, you live in UK, whereby you live here in Ghana. Eh? Ghana? Yes! He lives in Ghana. Ghana? Ghana! Accra? I'm Obina. Keep quiet, I'm still talking. He's a criminal, he does criminal uh, Obina. in Ghana. Obina! You should be thanking yourself that you're still out. I should have put you behind bars since. Are you talking to me? Yes, that I'm talking way. to you. Obina, you're talking to I me. I am that talking way. to you. Will you listen when I'm still talking? You know what? You are more mentally imbalanced than the Clifford you are using to blackmail my sweetheart. Your sweetheart? You call her your sweetheart, Obina? Eh? Eh? So you have made money, right? You can now challenge me, Obina. Obina, you can. Uh, have you forgotten? Jerry! Have you, uh, have you forgotten the path? Eh? Jerry, if you don't leave this place now, you will regret ever stepping your foot in this country. Obina! Now leave. Obina! Are you talking to me? Get out! Get out! Obina! Obina! Get out! Obina! Get out of this place! Get out! We said to go! When I think it's over When I think I've lost all Then it's when God's grace comes Ghana. When I think I'm a nobody, when I think my world oh my God, has crumbled, that is when God restored me. Oh. Never you lose hope. God is the hope to the hopeless. Never you cry again. Obina, please forgive me. I want you to forgive me before I die. Uh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't mention that name again, right? I am here and you're talking about Obina. Huh? While I'm the one taking care of you, you wicked woman. Don't mention that name again, okay? You are the cause. You are the cause of my troubles. The cause of all my troubles. Nonsense. Don't mention that name. Obin. Okay, go, go, go and call him now. Eh? Go and call him to take you to the hospital. Go and call him to take care of you. Nonsense. Obin, 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 Obin. Nonsense. Nonsense. Wickedness. Nonsense. Does not pay, but has a way to bounce back. What? Obi, how can you break my heart with such a cruel man? You gave me your word the other day at the restaurant. I was about celebrating before you slapped me with such a gross news of my life. I never gave you my words that I was going to get married to you. You did. No, I didn't. Stop denying it. Stop, stop being a coward and man up to it. No, I only told you I was going to think about it. What is the difference? Why didn't you tell me that why you were not interested? Why didn't you? There is no 
only way I could have gotten married to you. Because I don't want to spend the rest of my life arguing with my wife. I don't argue. You do. No, I don't. You do. And I, you're still doing it. I don't. Starting the fact is no argument. You're just looking for a way to hang their dog. I'm saying something. Exactly what you're still doing. We're talking. You're still arguing right now. You should have told me earlier that you're not interested other than using me and dumping me. I never used you. I never dumped you. My heart with someone else, okay? A woman that I love so much, a woman that I cherish so much, I adore her, I respect her so much. She's the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with, the woman I want her to bear my children. Please, respect our decision, okay? So we can still be friends. Friends my foot! I loved you! I loved you! I loved you! Just, just something great! Get out! When I think it's over When I think I've lost all That is when God says Come down When I think I'm a nobody When I think my world has crumbled That is when God rests on yes. me <laughs> yes. oh, Never you lose me oh, God is the hope to oh. the hopeless <laughs> Never you cry again oh He God. has your future in his plan Wipe your tears away Wipe your tears away God's on time is the best When the world makes just of you When they push you around, never lose hope. God knows what to do. When I think I'm a nobody, when I think my world has crumbled, that is when God restores.